Hello everyone, Gladiman here. So today, we're going to look at if statements, or to put it another way, making our robot actually react to stuff and think. Um, so we're going to leave in our code from the last episode, uh, which was the for loop, where we had i getting incremented through up to uh, 5, and calling the travel and rotate method. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the for loop, um, just to demonstrate this, and we're going to type if. And you're going to see it has the syntax highlighting. Press space, do an open parentheses, and what we're going to do is we're going to check and see if i is greater than 3. So we're going to type i, and then the greater than sign, and then 3. And so what this will do is if i is greater than 3, which it should eventually get to be greater than 3, um, and it should only actually be equal to 4, but for compatibility reasons, we're going to leave it like this in case we do increase uh, the number of times we want this to iterate. So we're going to just jump out here and do an open brace and press enter or return. So now, as this is going through, this will check to see if hence the if statement, the i value is greater than 3. And if it does, we're just going to, uh, let's just say, back up. So we're going to type pilot dot, and then wait for autocomplete stuff to load, and then travel. And then we're going to travel, uh, let's see, back 6 inches. So the negative 6 just means that it will back up now. Um, and so that's the basic introduction to an if statement, where you can have it check to see if something is true, and then do something. And uh, it also demonstrates that you can use uh, a variety of things nested in each other. So you can have the for loop, and then have the if statement nested in it, and then you can have another for loop in that, and so forth. Um, but this is just a quick little example of how to use the if statement. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!